winning that prize, Kapuczynski Award, was um, almost the third best thing that's ever happened to me after the birth of my two children, because it's Kapuczynski, uh, the gold standard of what we try to do in, in our work, because it's Poland, uh, with which I have a sort of list, I feel, a, 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 an intense relationship over the last 30 years since I first met Jacek Kuron in the Amatorska bar on Nowy Świat in 1981. Um, and, and, you know, what an honour, uh, you know, to meet Kapuczynski's gracious wife and, and, and his daughter. Um, with the money, uh, I wanted to give half of it to a, a, a centre for violated and battered women here, a refuge in, in, in Warsaw. Um, but uh, they, it, it's going to be a little less than that because I smashed my leg to pieces within a couple of weeks of winning the prize. <clears throat> and being back here is actually pretty much the first thing I've done since I did. So I hope with Kapuscinski's approval, I've spent most of it on um, keeping my left leg so I can get back on the road again. I'm working on a couple of things, one of them very directly connected to, to Amexica, the book. It's about the laundering of the money, the grotesque profits of this nightmare of violence and drugs. Um, two banks have been convicted of and have admitted to laundering hundreds of billions of dollars of blood money for the, Sinal of, for the Sinaloa cartel, the world's biggest criminal syndicate. No one has gone to jail. In fact, the chief executive of one of the banks, a British bank called HSBC, um, his punishment was, be, was to be promoted uh, to the British government for his perfidy. Um, I think this is extremely significant. And not only because it shows that there is really no line to be drawn between what we politely think of as our legal, healthy society and the criminal syndicates. They are part of us. We are part of them. Because it's all about the goddamn money. Mm -hmm.